Lack of staffing has led to some changes at Angels for Animals in Beaver Township. Without enough veterinarians, it can't any longer offer certain services to the public. First News reporter Samantha Bender is live outside of the veterinary clinic with that story tonight. Sam. Good evening. Angels for Animals tells me they simply don't have the manpower to continue to provide spay and neuter services for dogs at their vet clinic, though this does not impact the animals in their shelter. Diane Less, founder of Angels for Animals, tells me, like most other businesses, they can't staff many of their positions, but veterinarians especially. She tells me there's a very big shortage of them across the entire nation. It's one of the most difficult doctoral degrees to attain. The competition to get in the vet school is fierce. These kids are compete with two to three hundred other students to get into vet school. Not to mention, Les says it's a hard four-year program after a bachelor's degree. And then when they graduate, they're going to be two to five hundred thousand dollars in debt. And Les says the reason services are no longer being provided to dogs is because cats are their main focus. Cats are what being euthanized for lack of space and, and time. And Les says fixing these animals is so important, not just for population control. It's very sad to see how many young dogs die from pyometria and testicular cancer. This is all through the lack of a spay or neuter operation. Les says this weekend she's attending a veterinary conference in Columbus and she's hopeful she'll find more help there. I explained to anybody that works here, yes, you will work harder here because it's a charity. You might not be paid more than anywhere in the world, but you will never make the difference you make working anywhere else like you will make working at Angels for Animals. Angels for Animals also runs a registered vet technician program with Eastern Gateway Community College. Les tells me they will finish spaying and neutering any dogs scheduled out until the end of April, though they won't be taking on any more beyond that. Live in Beaver Township, Samantha Bender, WKBN 27 First News.